Hello, so welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Taya here, my bounty hunter. And we are once again on the world of Tatooine. We are here just at the beginnings of the region known as the Dune Sea at the Imperial Outpost Sarush. Of course, we are working on behalf of the Imperial Reclamation Service to find a Zerka Corporation research base. And we are also looking for our bounty target, one Tiresias. But, before we do that, there are a few other people here who would like our services. Who would like to hire us. Before we get started, of course, there's a couple of things I forgot at the end of the last part of the series. We were going to look into Tiresias Loci. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't want to show off his codex entry because he is indeed missing one of his horns. Which he had converted into a stun grenade. Tiresias Loci has enjoyed a long and profitable career as a free agent in the criminal underworld. His abundance of charm, sense of humor, and disarming smile have allowed him to gain the confidence of some of the galaxy's most influential people, most of whom he swindled out of a substantial fortune in short order. Tiresias' amazing success as a confidence man, has made him fabulously wealthy, but also earned him notoriety as one of the galaxy's most infamous and wanted smugglers. Naturally cautious and quick on his feet, Tiresias has never encountered a situation he couldn't wriggle out of, a trade that has earned him a reputation as the luckiest man alive and a place on the target list for the Great Hunt. And of course we have found ourselves now here in the Dune Sea. A vast ocean of sand stretching endlessly into the horizon. The Dune Sea is the image that springs to mind when most think of Tatooine even those who've settled upon the planet itself. Few dare to wander too far into the wasteland, fearful of sand people, hideous monsters, and worse of all, the utterly unknown. Particularly brave Jawas have received salvage during their journeys deep into the Dune Sea, returning with puzzling devices and broken gadgets. No one is entirely sure how these scraps ended up in the wastes, but the occasional piece bears the worn, faded emblem of Zerka Corporation. So, there are certainly a few things we need to do. Tiresias is actually not too far away from our current location. But we'll go hunting for him very shortly. But now let us have a word with the other Imperials here at the outpost. And see what- oh, That shade looks so good right now. What kind of sadist puts a planet next to two suns? Hmm. Let's see what contracts they have to offer. Glad to see you. I'm Major Breaker. I trust you've developed the same hatred for this dirty planet as I have. We were so close to expanding Imperial influence, introducing refinement to this rock. If you can spare a moment, we may still have a chance. The Empire's growth isn't my concern. I could, however, be persuaded. I assure you, success in this matter will be handsomely rewarded. There's a well, one of Tatooine's deepest and most successful. Whoever controls it, controls this region. Imperial Command ordered me to take it, but my men were butchered by sand people, no less. This tribe's so ruthless, all the other tribes pay them tribute. The Empire can't let these filthy savages control such a priceless resource. I will end their rule. 
Excellent. I can't wait to hear of your victory. The well lies deep in the desert. Kill the sand people who guard it. The Empire will be grateful. Very well, so there is, there is oh, an oasis. Yeah, deep within the Dune Sea. Very well. We actually have a heroic mission here. Ah, perhaps we stand a chance after all. The entire Empire may one day have cause for gratitude that you arrived here at precisely this moment. What could possibly have happened here that's of interest to the entire Empire? Well, perhaps I uh, overstated the case a bit. But you could certainly help us teach a lesson to those who deny our mastery of Tatooine. I am Officer Vengo, Imperial Reclamation Service. My men and I were escorting prison laborers to a Zerka dig site. We were ambushed by a bunch of Republic cowards who cut down my men and freed the prisoners. There was a Jedi leading them. I can get your prisoners back. Jedi don't scare me. A bold claim for a lone mercenary. But I'll not dispute it. I've already overloaded the prisoners' shock collars. They should be quite injured. According to my sensors, they've stopped moving. I expect they've gone to ground in the deep desert to tend the wounded. If you want to help, track them there, and make sure they never leave. Seems simple enough. Kill the prisoners, too. Let them learn that being captured was a mercy only granted once. So, kill these escaped prisoners and their Jedi escorts. Sounds simple enough. And they have taken shelter in the shade of another derelict sand crawler. And there is a woman here who is not Imperial, who is trying to gain our attention. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Hello. That's right. I'm talking to you. I know who you are, and I bring a proposal. I'm Shale Tassau. I speak for a small consortium of the Exchange on Tatooine. They want a warlord dead, and they think you're the one to do it. Maybe the Empire's already given me a better offer. So, kill once, collect twice. The target is the warlord Garbodia. He killed a Sith apprentice sent to assassinate him. And it's costing all of us. Imperials are torturing and killing exchange members to find his location. Now, I know where Gar is, but I came to you. Understand why? You don't want to reward the Empire for imprisoning your friends. I wouldn't say friends, but I owe some people. Gar and his mercenaries are hiding in the desert. I saw them taking shade by a derelict sand crawler. We can pay for his head. That ugly bantha stain is done. The Empire agrees, the Exchange agrees. How about you? Well, if a large pile of credits has such a strong opinion on the matter, I have to say yes. Good. Now, he does move around a lot. Don't expect to find him exactly at the Sandcrawler. You bring me his head, and I'll bring you the credits. Sounds like a deal. The Imperials continue to torture my associates. Kill Garbodia. Yeah, the Imperials and the Empire. Sorry, the Imperials and the Exchange aren't exactly friends on Tatooine. So, we have a couple of other sand crawlers here in the distance. This is where this warlord has gone to ground. Let's go find him, shall we? We'll need to lure this warlord into the opening by causing some destruction in his camp. Destroy his water supplies. I think we also have a bonus to deal with his gang. Get 
get it now. As an additional display of imperial power, crush the exchange forces loyal to this Garbodia. His crime is theirs, and they shall share his fate accordingly. So here's the water supply tank. We'll deal with that in just a moment. Yeah, we'll help ourselves to this security chest. barbecued him and claimed his head. Well, I'm not going to carry around his head all the time. Let's return to this representative of the exchange already. And then we'll go hunting for these ex escaped prisoners. Oh, it may not be a derelict sand crawler. It might actually be a downed... Yeah, but they're taking shelter in the shade of... My people say someone ripped through Garbodia's camp. Can I spot talent or what? I trust you if- Ugh! Ooh. If I knew his head was gonna stink this badly, I'd have given you a refrigeration unit. Thanks. You can wrap that back up. Ugh. You better settle up. It's alright. I haven't forgotten. Nasty as this is, it's better than what was going on before. I just couldn't personally smell it. Do you see a garbage chute? And all of these relics aren't as good as the ones we have. So let's not worry about it. Let's go searching for these escaped prisoners. We'll make use of the heroic transport we have. Have these Jedi rescuers. I'm gonna get it now. The Jedi who rescued the prisoners are still tending to their wounds. Eliminating them now would protect future Imperial prison transports from disaster. large security chest. Thank you.
has all the Jedi we need to deal with. That we need to deal with anyway. Commission service will hear all about your work defeating the two dozen Jedi who viciously ambushed us. No, no, don't say anything. My initial count could have been off. They have no way to verify. Let them be as impressed with you as I am. That's Commander Velos there, thanking us for a job well done. Military equipment and ancient artifacts. Now we can see the banners in the distance there. Seems there are there is a Than people tribe in that location. And in fact we're just passing by a group of them. So they simply want us to defeat some of the tribals here. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So we have some of the border guards here. Here is the oasis itself. Hmm, what do we have here? Pipelines. The Empire needs to hold this location once the Oasis has been taken. Damaging the water mains that supply other sand people encampments in the area will hinder any attempts these savages make to mount a counter-strike. Be careful not to completely destroy them. The Empire will need them in working order once the water is in Imperial hands. Oh, we have another security chest over there. We actually have a lore object on the sand people themselves. healing. Level 63. It's interesting, the sand people are classified as a species over an organization. 
there's not much in the law. I mean, the law of the Sand People has been developed more and more over the years, but for myself, I've never known a great deal about them, apart from, say, codex entries. I know... I'm probably going to get lambade for this, but I know, I think, Disney have tried to add more lore. I know there's some mention of them in the Book of Boba Fett. Never seen it. Don't know what it talks about. What? What does this codex entry actually tell us? A violently xenophobic species from Tatooine. The Sand People are more formally referred to as the Glorfa. Most at home in Tatooine's endless deserts and canyons, the nomadic Sand People survive by hunting and raiding larger settlements, and by raising banthers, both as mounts and for food, milk, and materials. To outsiders, they can appear incomprehensibly hostile, but while virtually all encounters with Sand People end in violence, their culture is more complex internally. Sand People have strict taboos against showing explo exposed flesh, except in very rare and specific circumstances, and keep themselves wrapped in heavy coverings. Those who violate this sacred custom are banished from their tribe, a fate that typically ends in a lonely death in the desert. Despite their insular nature, Sand People are known to adopt and raise young children of other species, orphaned by their raids. Once these orphans reach adulthood, they are encouraged to leave the tribe and return to their own people. The history of the Sand People is maintained through the tales of revered tribal storytellers. Many of their legends describe a golden age of technological miracles, seemingly indicating that the Sand People were once a highly advanced civilization. This has led to speculation that the Glorfa are descendant from the now extinct Kumaga species that lived on Tatooine roughly 30,000 years ago. And who's to say what happened to Tatooine over those many years? But, we'll, hmm... We'll get ourselves back over to the good Major. Let them know that the Oasis is now somewhat more secure for Imperial advancement. You've returned. I was about to pass out from the stench here when I heard reports of your successful massacre. Quite messy, I hear. I'm sure you did what was necessary. Once the Empire has the well, there'll be no stopping us. As for myself, I'll finally be stationed somewhere befitting a man of my status. You're my savior. I can't thank you enough. I should have known you'd twist my victory for your benefit. An unexpected benefit, I assure you. I would never place my needs before the Empire's. Now I must pack. I won't forget you when I'm sipping Corellian brandy somewhere far from here. As long as you pay me, I suppose. My colleagues still talk about how you killed those sand people. Thank you again. Okay, so... Let us remind ourselves... Captain Gola and his team have outfitted a probe droid to scan for signs of the Zerka research base. Go into the Dune Sea and locate a suitable location to signal the probe droid. Do you require medical attention? 
Be well. Someone actually has a home out here in the Dune Sea. I believe as a Sith warrior, you would go pay them a visit. There's a sandstorm coming in, but I wanted to report. The droids locked onto an underground power signature. Must be an artifact in the Zerka base. We've also found some kind of recorded message. Any idea who it's coming from? Patching it through now. Is this thing working? Oh, blast. Security Officer Gromick here. I'm the last man out. We've been ordered to seal Zerka Secret Weapons Division 7. The base was compromised. We thought we had the problem contained to the artifact cave, but it didn't last. Okay, sealing the doors now. Anyone who sees this, don't come in. You don't want to. You really don't want to. They lost the whole base. Imagine that. We've got fragmentary codes and coordinates, but you'll need to run additional scans to unlock the base. There may be more messages too. We both know if anything is still alive in that base, you're our best chance at retrieving Zerka's artifacts. You'll have to go alone. I'll check back in when I got something. Sounds like a plan. My team, those of us who are left, will be waiting. Part of me wishes I were going. Zerka found something unthinkably old and alien. But this is how it has to happen. Gola out. So, Circa even called this their Secret Weapons Division. Interesting. So, in scanning this Zerka relay post, the probe droid was able to get fragments of an access code and was able to locate or release the message that was held in the relay. There are other relays dotted around the Dune Sea, which will also have fragments of code and hopefully other messages so that we can learn what happened here. Now, that first message showed a very, very young Gromic Kerfson. If you were here on Tatooine as a player of the Republic, you would encounter Gromic, as he is still alive, much older, much more... Uh, how to say this politely? En eccentric, I suppose. He's been out in the sun a little bit too long. Players of the Republic and the Empire are both looking to discover what Zerka discovered here in the Dune Sea. And speaking of Zerka Corporation, they still have a force here. There is a small chance we will encounter a Republic player also trying to access these relay stations.
Dr. Sopern here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. you think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even Gree technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully, we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. End log. Hmm. Technology is possibly 20,000 years old. We have another Sand People village there. And just ahead of us, next to the next relay tower, is the Republic base here in the Dune Sea. Outpost for Raisin, I believe it's known as. This is Director Antean speaking. As you know, worker safety is one of Zerka's top priorities, and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. Anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. Research using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. Hmm. I was the director of the research center. This next relay tower is guarded by a small Imperial patrol, which would be hostile to a Republic player approaching this tower. I want my concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating, and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gree Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine, and they weren't Gree. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins, no matter what anyone says, and I'm tired of being ignored. Hmm. Some disagreements about where the technology is coming from, and some concerns that it the primary device is trying to link to some lesser artifacts that they must also have in their possession. Or had, I should say. In our first mention of something known as the Infinite Empire, we'll learn far more about the Infinite Empire as we continue with this series, of course. Suffice to say, they aren't really around anymore. Dr. Larrick is gone. He's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Larrick's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best, but some of his data makes sense. I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. Hmm. 
So Dr. Lerick, who we heard about from the previous tower, decided to get out. But he did take one of the lesser artifacts with him. I wonder if it was his ship that was found in the wastes by the Jawas and the Strangers. I wonder if it was that artifact that transformed the Reclamation Service Team. Director Antaeon to all Zerka employees. Please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves. And yeah, that was the director biting it, it seems, by a transformed individual, much like we saw with Kayla or Perrin earlier. And then, of course, we know what happens later. Gromit Kerfson of the security team sealed the division. And we have the daily reset here. Oh, we finally finished the tier four. Very well. Is there anything else I haven't claimed by mistake? Oh, there, there were items I didn't claim. Whoops. What's new on the cartel market? The Onderon Guardian armor set. That includes the blade. What does the Onderon armor look like? Okay, you lose your hair. Very well. And just ahead of us here. Close to where the Oasis is located. Is the entrance to Special Weapons Division 7. I've said it a few times, both for Republic and Imperial players when entering the research base here. But there used to be a staged bonus mission. The facility here was... Consider that Circa abandoned this place for a reason. Maybe we shouldn't be poking around. Hey, we've got a contract. Yeah, this area used to be a hell of a lot bigger. And... Kind of sad that they decided to shorten this mission, this quest. Oh, where are you going? Come back over.
so you would go through an entire dig site, past various circa machines, to where they stumbled upon this primary device. The final part of the bonus mission would be to get the ID tags from a now cyber necrotic director Antean. <laughs> what they converted into a central laboratory after they discovered the device here. We have to be careful. These laborers have the Swarmer buff, which increases the damage dealt by all other nearby friendly Swarmers. We also have to watch out for any remaining or modified guards, as they can stun us, leaving us vulnerable to the laborers just to try to kill us. That is the primary device up ahead. But there are various other structures of interest. devices are similar, reminiscent of the devices we saw back on Nar Shaddaa on our way to Revan's secret facility. Similar again down here. There you go. to deal with a guard and you get flash banged. Similar structures once again down here. Now we've cleared this path for a particular purpose. Yeah, I cleared out most of the hostiles. We have this floating object.
Et bien fracta mes fils de fna ma capé. What are you supposed to be? That's not Zenke, you Joan. Maestra me Hiruba. Kefter da Sebia, Bator da Marhebia. Your people trapped you on Tatooine. The Div Mule hate him. The Yasni Yitri da. That's not Zenke, you Joan. Maestra me Hiruba. I've met a lot of ambitious people, but you're a real nut job. Target, this pen is this gear. The more, to hit the learn, sapiens, the chatters, the libraries, the ah. Oh. He was willing to have words just long enough so that he could animate more of those guards. Now. Seems more of these reanimated Zerker employees are coming to get us. seem to be stopping anytime soon. Thankfully we're able to sabotage this equipment. Harder, this imprisoned one is also manufacturing some form of droid. Just be sure that none of them are going to be able to escape. Any of these cyber necrotic Zerker employees get out of here, well, Tatooine could end up um, in an unfortunate position in the galaxy. all of them. There's a few more outside, but I'm sure some players, some bleeding hearts of the Republic will mop them up for us.
the diamond Lebeka in Tiruns. The nearest day he truly, does brule fi head on Dunkwa. He been fucked on me feel tough now, my couple. You want to say anything else before I destroy you? For gang, ya bleely. The div mule hate him. The yes me eat for that. Tell them to then. Take a back check as then, ya. You've lived too long already. A best make it a for first. Young Tedro Gise. Destroy that device. I suppose we could argue to save it and hand it over to the Empire. There's arguments for and against. I, for one, wouldn't want it to become rampant again and get turned into one of its slaves. But no matter. The choice has been made. Let us return to Captain Geola and tell him what we discovered. Quite a setup the Imperial Reclamation Service has got out here. I wonder what they're hoping to dig up. Look who's back. I was afraid we'd lost you to that Zerka tomb. It's good to see you alive. I'm sure you want to rest up, but I'd like to hear. Did you find the artifacts? I found a creature, a Rakata, trapped in one of the devices. It's been buried under the desert all this time. Could you communicate with the creature? Is it... can we talk to it? I didn't have any choice. It tried to kill me. I destroyed it. I understand. I've heard stories. Service members discover ancient droids, lost colonies. It never ends well. Still, we've got one artifact, and there's always Zerka's records. It's a victory, if not one for the history books. With Dar Silthar gone, I am in charge. You ever need our help, you know where to find me. I've had an interesting time here, Captain. Maybe we'll do it again someday. Maybe we will, at that. Safe journeys out there, and be careful. This galaxy has a lot of old secrets. Once you start seeing them, they tend to start looking back. Indeed. And our time here in regards to the world quest is complete. Unfortunately, as an Imperial player, we don't see Captain Golar again. What I have discovered recently as, as a Republic player, you will see Captain Golar once more. Much further into the storyline, a lot older, and he's gained a few promotions in his time since here on Tatooine. Not that you may be aware of who he is as a Republic player, unless you've played through your Imperial storyline here on Tatooine. But, I suppose that's almost everything. We just need to find our bounty target now, this Tiresias Loci. So, we shall take a break here. When we come back, we'll be heading back over. There you go. We'll be heading back over to the Dune Sea. 
and hopefully reaching the tracking location of that speeder he claimed from the Lady of Pain's compound before he's able to repair his downed ship. As always, thank you all for joining me. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye-bye now.